Hey, Pradesh. Hey, hi, Vani. Yeah. Uh, so I got that one of the EKU PR merged. Oh, you did? Yeah, 167 is merged. Uh, oh, okay. 166, I am waiting for a million to reply. Okay. <clears throat> That's good. That, that was a quick one. Yeah. Hello. Hey, David. Hey, hi, David. Hi, things moving. <laughs> <laughs> we had a couple of our discussion before this. So okay. Did some magic. Yeah, I see 167 is done. That's awesome. That's the 166, right, uh, Pritesh? You were talking of March. Uh, yeah, but 166 is merged. And 167, we have, it's a small one. I'm just waiting for either Melinda or someone else to review. I think David already gave a ship it, so yeah. 166 has not gone to merge status yet. <clears throat> yeah, 167 is, 166 is not. Correct. I might have gone, yeah, confused it. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like, yeah, at least in the order that was pinned by Yi um, last Tuesday, the first one in the list looks like still hasn't been reviewed. So we did review a couple of them and a couple of them were most, but yeah, let's look at them. So that's that that's it. Oh, here. So 137, we still need to have a discussion. There's open questions there on the PR. So like if, if you, it's related to 144, which is in turn related to 130, wait, which one is? Resolve yeah, what, yeah. I, I will tell you 144 is related to one forty four related to zero three. Yeah, up to zero three, and that's and where we are still pending. Yeah, yeah. Did, mm -hmm. Yeah, did you want me to share screen or? Uh, yeah. I can share the screen on the summit. Yeah, it is all with the directory structure where the isolation is needed for the read and write path. So it kind of also related to the system versus user file directory precedence with respect to the security uh, call out, David. So it's kind of 144 is also related to 203, which is actually uh, tied to the PR 137. So let me share the screen very soon. Yeah. yeah, here we go. So we are still depending. I think we didn't conclude here. We're going to do three. Yeah where like there were multiple proposals here, but we haven't concluded how, which way we want to go there. And I think it still has some objection regarding, do we want to go by secure by default or do we want to prioritize on user experience? Okay, so the way that the PR has been implemented for the directory structure, uh, yeah, is allow user to find right level for user level. Yeah, but the default one we wanted to choose that. Yeah, but there was uh, there was like security concerns. If default is user, then 
it can be hacked, but if it is system precedence, then it is more secured. But yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think I thought we let's see. So yeah, consensus. So I thought it was the secure by default system level, and then user can override non-security related preferences. Yes. That's so, the standard protocol, isn't it? Like right. it is always system, but user overrides the system level. So priority and default goes to the system level than the user driven. Yeah. So this is like, I think we need to define what's like, so we're saying trust or trust policy is um, something that needs to be written to the system directory. So it was, I think if I remember correctly, if it's there in system directory, we'll ignore the user ones or something like that. Just let me just read over it again. Yeah. I'm just like taking a look at this and I see, uh, it looks like they're writing the config to the user directory. But there's both in there, there's both in the PR. Trust store path for right in user level, trust store path for right in system level in the code. I'm like looking at the PR code. Okay, I let me open that one. Because it's three one thirty seven is the top one that he said reviewed last Tuesday, and I don't see any reviews on it. I thought it was uh, actually reviewed. Hold on. So I did ping him on Friday, and like we waited on this PR, this to finalize on this how we wanted to tackle it. So basically, they were conflicting opinion in two or three. So like millions uh, restrict okay. something and then uh, then uh, Steve said no, we shouldn't go that way. Steve wanted to be secure by default, so we didn't conclude. That's why we stopped it. Like that's why we didn't look at the PR. So that's 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 where like initially we were thinking about doing that way, and then Steve was more on that. Okay, we should be secure by default, and let's give priority to system right. Instead of user. right so i guess the question is what is what is not secure by default with the pr that's up there does it not add so basically we haven't made a call out which way we want to go here do we want to go with this approach where uh, if the value is not present it's basically fallbacks to user or do we want it to be system level yeah i mean I think if we're if we're saying that, I mean, the trust or trust policy is a security implication, and based on everything I've read on the thread, then it sounds like if they don't specify, it needs to be put into the the system. But you're right. Yeah. So I mean that that would probably be, I mean it looks like just a quick glance. I'd sit in here look through everything, but. I, quick glance, I mean, it looks like it supports the right to both user and system, and I don't, I don't know where in the code would be whatever's default, but I would imagine that's a minimal change to the code um, to just change which is the default if nothing's specified. Yep. So, 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 so. In, the, in, the, in the PR 137, it says the package optimization is where the user should... Uh, Define right level for both system as well as user. Is that what is in the code? Yeah, in the code I'm looking at right now. I mean, I just like I said, I'm at a quick glance. Mm -hmm. I can see that throughout the code, there's there's references to the user directory and the system directory. So it's there's there's a reference to both locations. Yeah, that's in the code, and it's probably just a matter of some somewhere where there's a default switch or something. And I I, mm -hmm. I like I said, without spending more time to review it. I don't know. So I, I just feel like I don't necessarily know if we're blocked. I totally get you on the 203, but I, I, I feels like if we've got an option to do both and the only thing we're arguing over is what's the default, well, let's just set the default to system because that seems like that's the general consensus. 
And then if we decide to change our minds later, well, then that doesn't invalidate all the code that we have. We just probably change where the default switch is, right? Or, or is it like if the user level is not defined, then the default goes to system. But if it is defined, then the default goes to user. Right. User I don't, I don't, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I, don't, I think that that's... Um, there's 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 an option either way there i don't i mean we'd have to look at the code to see if it's like that hard to change it uh, i don't know but i would hope that it's you know it, it's not like replumbing all of this code it's more of like in the one spot where you define whatever the default is you just change that right yeah um, yeah so so does the pr need to have that code change or you just want to yeah i was thinking right? the pr yeah. should have the code change it's not exactly. a that big big pr yeah well right okay. and i just don't know i mean i i don't know if, i i don't know if the default is user or or system path i'm not sure i without sitting here trying to parse yeah that's the up. thing yeah, there's been, like I can spend my today, like I can try to look at today evening, but yeah, that's what like on Friday evening I was able to take this where I stopped on Friday evening. Yeah. So 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 I would suggest I can take a pass over this today or tomorrow morning and then I will provide an update on the PR. That's okay. what I told told uh, to do okay. to on Friday evening, yeah. Okay. Because uh, um, it, it, yeah, because that says it resolves 144, but 144 itself has no conclusion. So, okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, this this ties into a lot of different things too, right? So I think that's why it's the top because it's where stuff's getting written to on disk. Um, so, yeah. Yep, I, I agree. I see E. Uh, he is uh, responding to some of the messages. So if you can. Yeah, make... he's, uh, they're out this week, right? They're on. So uh, it's just yeah. me. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I think I, and his list of priority PRs is still applicable, right? From the 27th on Slack. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and these are ones, right, where, um, it, I mean, like, yeah, there's a backlog of ones that, uh, yeah. So most of them we were able to take, for example, 146, I was able to provide comments on Thursday and Friday. Okay, cool, thank you. Yeah. Yep, uh, I will take a look today again, but yeah, like it's on Friday, I provide a couple of feedback there. Yeah. Looks like... I think it's almost ready to merge. I'll just take a look. It looks like the it looks like the um 341 is pretty close. I mean, minus it looks like there's a there's a I mean three there's three approvals there. Uh, I see you have a comment on the the link is broken, but um <laughs> <laughs> I think other than that, I think it's good. Yep. Yeah, this was the this was the other quick one. Yeah. Expiry dur duration, yeah. Uh, I disagree there with Milan, but yeah, I can talk about it. I think Milan has already approved the changes. So some uh, Samir has to approve the changes. I think it's almost okay. done. Are you getting it? Right? Yeah, it is only think, uh, Samir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it's almost, I think it can be merged at least as three reviews at least, yeah. Yeah, don't wait on me. I think let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you want me to just go and merge it right now? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah. Three forty-one. It's good. All right. Done. And yeah, we didn't got time to review the last one because they've opened on Thursday, I think. So yeah. Okay. Um so this two were open this two were open on Thursday. So yeah, I've been I didn't look into them. I don't know. Yeah. And so Alpha 4, uh, what's the status on your side there? 
so we'll have fixed by end of this week. So for just to just pause, we have the code on the plumbing work is remaining. So the fix should be out by the end of this week. Or well, like on Monday, they should be available for you. The late, like by end of this week, we'll have a fix out. So basically in Alpha 4, we want to have trust to and trust policy or at least to get the user experience for this because anyway, we will be dropping the support for just to verify. So it's better to do it earlier than in RC1. So at least we can so, collect some. But, you're, but we're still gonna have verify experience. So what what is this uh, PR gonna enable the... So it's, it, it will switch the verification experience from just to trust to trust, trust policy based verification. Okay. So that okay. we have code, uh, we have the code there that in notation go, but it need to be called from notation CLI, notation package. Okay, and then who's who's coding that right now? Uh, Rakesh, Rakesh is working Rakesh for is. Rakesh, Yeah. Rakesh is, okay. Okay, and when, and so that's the only thing holding this up for Alpha 4. Yep, yeah. That's the only thing, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay. Do we want to uh, do 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 we want to do the formal issue filing of the release for Alpha Four? Um, I know there's release notes, but do you want to continue on with the we create an issue for in each of the repos that we're doing an Alpha Four release or no? Samir Wani. Samir. Sorry for that. Uh, go ahead. Sorry, can you ask the question again? Yeah, so in the past, we've always done these. Uh, it's part of the procedure. We've always done this, like you create an issue that you're saying you're filing a release um, for it. And then I know we want to move to the, the suggestion of having the gates with the automation. But for Alpha 4, um, I just want to know if you want to continue with the thing we've done in the past for releases where we have, it's like an issue that states there's a release. I could paste a link to one. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I think for Alpha 4, uh, I would like to get Alpha 4 out sooner. So if we are waiting on that other issue, it, that other automation not be ready by the time, then let's just wait on it. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Um, let me let me post the link. I, I don't I don't necessarily um, care if we do this, but I just don't want us. I just want us to be on the same page. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find one of the ones we did for the release. But yeah, we can. Um, oh yeah, here. Make one of these. Basically, I pasted it in the chat. Yeah, I think the manual process for alpha four is fine, but uh, I think David, you were trying to automate this, right? I think there's an automate issue out there. So let's track it independently. If they intersect, great. Otherwise, alpha four will be done without it. Okay, cool. All right, it's fine with me. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I think like we said, um, if it, I mean, you really could release alpha four right now of notation go and notation core go because there's no changes there. So, I mean, I might consider just doing that to speed things up. Um, and, yeah. then obviously, and then obviously you have to wait for the alpha four on the 
on the the client side, but I mean, you, there's nothing stopping you right now from releasing the libraries. I don't disagree, but I have this question or this nagging feeling in my head, right? That if we, let's say we do notation go and notation core go today, right? Um, and then we do notation CLI when that, once that fix comes in, in a week from now, what prevents us from making sure no incompatibility has come in, but like somebody checks in something else in notation CLI, which makes it incompatible to notation go and we have to go to a newer version of notation go. So we're not gating anything, That's, right? Well, I mean, you can always like reference a different version, you know, and I know that at least for the binary that we did the dev build on, we did testing with whatever was the current, you know, APIs that were linked to there. So um, I, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I just, I mean, we, I mean, yeah, it's it's a trade off of do you want to just keep waiting and to put more and more things into Notation Go and Corgo, or do you want to like lock the version of what's there and then test the client with that, right? Yeah, I would like to lock the version. I'm just I, I, I'm just curious, like, how, what are we doing to prevent uh, incompatibility coming in later? Well, you prevent the incompatibility. You mean like with the client? Yeah, for example, let's say we use the notation go and notation core grow from this past Sunday, right? Whenever that yep. table yep. was done. Between so, now and uh, Friday, when we cut this new alpha four release, somebody checks in something else in notation CLI. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, yeah, so that's so that's handled by the in the notation. Um, you specify which version of the libraries you're going to use. Okay. So it, it doesn't matter if there's fifty changes checked into notation go and notation core go because the, the alpha four release will actually be locked and the version that version only will be referenced on the client in the in the go.mod file okay i see what you're saying yeah Pratish, what do you recommend like uh based on what the state of the project uh do it now so or do it together one time for sure we can release notation go go notation go we can do it afterwards once we talk to rakesh that where the change is required tomorrow or after tomorrow like if there's any change on notation go we cannot lock it down but for sure we can release go go but okay. what's what, what, what don't you think it's better to do all that in one shot like it both works like i don't have any matter. preference there yeah yeah it doesn't matter i mean especially there's no open prs on notation cargo hmm. um it doesn't sound like there's any changes even coming anytime soon anyway um and then that will get you um Bonnie and smear the you know whatever you need to learn to release the, yeah. the apis um so yeah and that yeah. might be a good chance to like do a dry run with score go before you release notation. Yeah. So okay. So yeah, let's just do it today. If you have time towards the end of this meeting, let's just do it today. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything else apart from this for today's discussion? Yeah. Anything again? Yeah, I don't think so. Just continuing to, you know, review the PRs. I don't know. And then ah, that's about it. Somebody, if you want to do it, you can do it now. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can. So uh, let's see. I can share my screen and I can walk through it. Uh, and we can turn off recording because I'll be, <laughs> I'll be struggling through it, but I guess we can't. So. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> no, let me, I was kidding, half kidding there. Let me see if I can share my screen and walk through and So let's create that issue. Let's follow the process you were talking about. I will share my screen in a second here. 
Uh, da, 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 start screen. Where is that? Share. Are you guys able to see my screen? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to follow the process. So basically, we try and create. Oh, not this, not this. No, you just, I mean, you just go to the notation core go repo. Notation core go repo. Yeah. Uh, this is notation go. Yep, notation core go repo. Okay. Uh, do we want to create an issue or is it an existing no. issue? No. Well, that's what you said. You didn't care. I'm, I'm fine. No, that. no. <laughs> I, oh, no. I wanted the issue with the manual process, but I didn't. I was. I, I said I don't want to wait on the uh, the automation. Oh, it. okay. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, if you want to do, yeah, you just need to copy the template there, and then if you want to follow the way we've done it before, and then just paste. You can. It. You can it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Bunny. Uh, I was seeing if we can clone this uh, issue. I don't think that there's a way to clone it. That's what I was trying to see. Are we sticking with V90 or we want to go to, uh, I think I proposed V90 only. Uh, uh, I think that's it what was V90 alpha dot four or something. Alpha or four, yeah, that's what I remember proposing. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so basically, this is just our our workbench. If you're doing all this thing correctly, yep. And Wani, I'm doing this. It's going to be painful, but for this first time, release alpha four. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have to decide on a main commit for the release. So we go to, uh, oh, there was a process documented, right? So let's go to the process which was documented. Uh, the process was documented here in notation, right? David, keep me honest here in notation, the process. Yeah, uh, yeah I th thought it was a notary. Oh, yeah, release management there. Release checklist. Uh, release yeah, management. so this is, but this is for notation, but I think the release management, I think, is the same. I think this release checklist. So we have yeah, done but see that, but this though, but this though is different for, for this is different. Because it's notation, it has a git of a releaser. Oh, I see. So we have so to go. This is not going to be the same. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it really is just like manually going in and adding a new release, like with your button, like click button for. Oh, really? Numbers. Yeah. It's, it's that. Okay. Yeah. So, it's really. Okay. So um, I just was going to check your notes, though, to make sure you have the name. Yeah. See so you in your. Alpha four, you actually for core go, you calling it v zero dot one dot zero dash alpha dot four. Okay. I I don't I don't really I don't I don't not that particular, but it's you just you do need to match those yeah 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 the same way. I mean I yeah. Which one do you uh, you yeah you've got for let me bring it up, yeah. Uh, for notation go, you're using 10.0 alpha 4. Notation CLI, you're using 10.0 alpha 4. And notation uh, go, you sang 1.0 dash alpha 4, but then you linked it improperly in the URL. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I linked it improperly because it was not present. So I did not link it properly for that reason. So this is a typo. Uh, this is definitely a typo here. You know, I, I went to V10. No, no the second, the, seven, the line number seven, you have 1.c in the link, you have 1.0.0-alpha4, and then in the releases itself, you have 0.1.0-alpha4. 
Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, good thing I've not pushed this today. Yeah. Okay, so do we have a what what names did we use for alpha three? We used what did we use for alpha three? Let's go back here. What did we use for alpha three? Notation code go ahead first series with alpha three. It wasn't present before. It wasn't present before. So let's yeah, you have the same you have the same uh URL problem and then I commented on six days ago in the uh, alpha three release. Yeah, I, so. I was on vacation. Yeah. So okay, so let's just use this. Let us build based on this tradition then. I think right. it was yeah. v one dot zero dot zero alpha dot three, I think. Yeah, so let's just build on this tradition for notation core go. So, so be zero dot one dot zero, I think is what you want to do dot off. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep. And then your, yeah, your commit is going to actually be uh, whatever the, the, yeah, you can say that. And then it, oh. You want to change that um, nine dot zero? Yeah. Picking the new version of notation code. Okay. We'll modify that. Okay, so basically now I just go to releases. Uh, and if I look now on my existing releases, there is just one tag, so I just create a new release. I alpha four. Does anybody remember any big changes going in? Alpha four, four. Uh -huh. So, you actually, it'll auto generate the release notes for you. Yeah, true that. So just, just delete that, uh, choose a tag. Uh, it will pick the tag automatically, right? Based on- Choose the existing to create a new tag. Yeah, that's right, it'll create a new one. Yeah. Let me just give it a new name. Just do, yeah. 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 Yep. And I'm just picking from me. And then now, now click on, yep, now click on generate release notes on the right, see? The button, button on the right. Yep, button on the right. Yep, the release notes. Yep, got that. There you go. Yep. Uh, now my question to you is: you were saying we should we can just use the same tag that we use for the weekly bill. So I just go from the main, or just go from the weekly bill tag. Uh, yeah. All you have to do now is just publish publish the release, and that's it, and you're done. No, that part I get, but if I do it now, it will pick for whatever is in the main, but should right. I pick from the main or should I pick from this weekly builds tag? Are we tagging the weekly no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. This is just the library. So yeah, what's that main is good. I mean, it, it the, yeah, so you're, you're fine. Go ahead and just okay. it to me. <clears throat> okay. There we you go. Tag. That's it. Done. Done. Yay. <laughs> that I, was it. Yeah, that's it. It's released. Woo. That's I, it. I, I, yeah. When you when you do something, it's that's it. When you don't know, it's a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like I said. the The process for the libraries is a little bit easier, so it will have to add a get like to do the maintainer release thing. You have to basically do the um get a an automation to to do that so david we did not officially cut a branch branch right we have not cut a branch here we have just or the branch is automatically there now yeah so huh. so this is where i mean this is where i i don't um i i don't actually personally agree with the branch thing because it, it's really unnecessary uh, because you can go at any point in time to the tag. Yep. Um, and branches are really only generally yeah. used when you when you go back and you actually um, patch a branch, right? Yeah. So 
so like down the road if we're ever like you know we have 1.0 ga or whatever and you know we're gonna do now a 2.0 um and we want to patch the 1.0 well then it, it, it's like kind of handy to have a 1.0 branch around to like you know patch and revise it but yep. it really is not necessary um it's just i don't i don't know who decided to put those three check boxes in but i personally don't really and the, and, and also bank. yeah yeah i agree and also sometimes you don't want to release a feature in alpha 4 then you can do a feature branch and then not take it for alpha 4 but it remains in that feature branch yeah yeah you want to do everything in domain yeah so, yeah yeah at this yeah. point in time yeah okay thanks david that's good okay all right, all right then thanks later Thank you. All right. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, appreciate the reviews, continued reviews on the PRs that are up there, and uh, yeah, let us know if there's something else we need. I, I do. On one other thing, did you ever um, on um, the KubeCon? Does any folks go to KubeCon? I posted that up there a while back. I think we're checking internally yeah. because uh, yeah. I, I I saw a note from Vani checking internally. Uh, we haven't heard back yet. Okay, yeah, because we are we we do have a no, a notation or a notary booth, notary and ORAS booth there. So okay, yeah. are you presenting cool. or Steve presenting? What are, what is the content? Well, like? yeah, so there's there's a there there is I mean we can decide what like things we want to show off with notation um, at the notation booth, but it has to be kind of core notation. Um, but then, you know, obviously vendor specific boost, you can do, do whatever. Um, yep. but it, but I, I mean, like, you know, I'll be staffing it. Um, and so I, I I'm, if, if there are things that you want to reference, like, I, I think it's, you know, it's a good, good story. If, if we point people to AWS or Azure either way, um, with notation, whatever's there, you know, Okay. So just something to think about you can come back to me on, but um, yeah, as well as just if there's folks that you would have interested to actually staff the notary booth, that would be great as well. Okay, so there is a booth and then there is a presentation as well. Like when I'm saying booth, I'm literally imagining a booth that there's an open source <laughs> physical booth. Yeah, I know there's like all the open source at KubeCon, there's like all these open source projects, the right. native computing foundation projects. So like ORAS okay. has its own table. We're trying to get it on the other side of, of notation, but uh, I don't know. Uh, but there'll be, you know, Prometheus and what other, you know, various tables for different open source projects. Oh, God. And then yeah, people yeah. just kind of coming up asking questions about what the project is and whatever. So that's the table. So that's great. That's for one. See if we can have somebody come help at the table. That's one. But is there also a presentation that you're giving? Yeah, I think I have to. I'm pretty sure there's at least one that's that's talking about notation. Yeah. Um, okay. I think at the conference, I have to dig it up. But yeah. Okay. Got it. All right, uh, no more questions this time. Let's see if we can find out who is traveling and then we can figure out the next steps. Okay, sounds good. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, Bye. -bye. Bye.